Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill and today I'm going to show you how to attach a sink to the countertop. I'm going to flip the sink over and what you'll see is you'll see a series of four tracks. Now all sinks don't have four tracks, some just have two on the sides, but this one has four. Okay, come on in close. This is the clip that holds the sink to the countertop. And you know, I gotta tell you quite honestly, the very first sink that I installed many years ago, I had to sit and look at the clip for a long time before I figured it out because it isn't, it's, it's, not, it's not intuitive. So this, this head of the bolt, it looks like a little cap, okay? And that cap is inserted in this track here. Let me show you how. So we're just going to slide. We're just going to slide that little cap in the track. That's it. Now if you look on the top here, there's a little tiny slot. And that slot allows you to insert a screwdriver. What I have here is I have, I have plumber's putty. And we're going to use this plumber's putty and we're going to make a plumber's putty rope to go around the perimeter of the sink and uh, that's going to help it seal, you know, seal the water. So you want to take the putty, you just want to warm it up in your hands and then create like a putty rope. Now I'm putting plumber's putty here and you're probably wondering, well, why couldn't I do that with caulking? Well, the reason is because it's a little concave there and caulking just wouldn't seal it the way plumber's putty will. So you're going to go around the perimeter of the sink with the pl plumber's putty. Okay, and you want it to adhere, so you're going to want to squish it down just a little bit so it stays in place because you're going to have to flip the sink over, you know. And so that's, that's going to hold until we uh, get it clamped. And what's going to happen is when we put the clamps on, it's going to squish it down and it's going to create a uh, moisture barrier. So I'm going to lift up the sink and I'm just going to lay it down in the opening like so. Now, like I said, as we put the clamps on and it tightens up, it's going to squish out a little bit. And so then you're gonna, I'm going to trim it. I'll show you as I, once I get the hardware in place. Okay, so I'm showing you from underneath the countertop. Now I showed you how the hardware worked, okay? Now we're going to slide it in place. There's that little cap there. Slide it in the track and I'm going to bring it down. Now I'm going to put three clips in per side. So once I have it where I want it, I'm going to slide it down just a little bit here. I want it right there. That looks good. Then I'm going to tighten it. And the way it's tightened is you tighten it with a flat head screwdriver. Now I'm not going to tighten it completely. I just don't want it to slide. All right. And I'm going to put my other, I'm going to start putting my other ones on too. Now I've got one side, and now I'm going to do the other side. Now I haven't completely tightened it. I'm going to wait till the other side is in place before I, I really secure the clips. Okay, so I've got my clips in place. They're all tightened. It's a smaller sink, so I only went with two, uh, two clips in the front and two clips in the back. But I've got three on the side. It's nice and secure. Okay, so I've got a little bit of uh, plumber's putty coming out of the side. We want to just clean that off, go around. And it's going to give you a nice watertight seal. Clean it up real good. And folks, that's it. And that's all it takes to attach a sink to a countertop using sink clips. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. This is Leah saying, you, you can do this. See you next time.